Welcome back to Straight Talk with Billy Kay. I'm Billy Kaiserling, the man who's fortunate enough to be the mayor of Beaufort. The purpose of this show and my website and my newsletters is to basically communicate with people and to share with them things that are going on around Beaufort. For the past four years since I became mayor, one of the first phone calls I got when I elected was elected was from Chancellor Jane Upshaw, who said, we're really ready to make the historic campus grow. Um, we've been distracted with uh, growing where there was opportunity at the um, other campus, but and we want to look at it at an art focus. And I said, that's terrific, Jane, that, because that's not only does that good for students and Buford a terrific venue for art, um, it's a great service to the community and a partnership. So today what we're going to talk about is USCB, uh, a place for students and a place for community. In the second segment, I have with me Bonnie Hargrove. I could spend a lot of time telling you about Bonnie, where she's been, what she's done, the program she's run. Um, but the bottom line is she's in charge of, of growing the Center for the Arts um, at the University of South Carolina Beaufort campus. Welcome, Bonnie. Well, thank you, Billy. I appreciate you having me. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what, what you're doing this year, okay. what you expect, how you hope it to grow? Um, the university, as you know, their focus is for the arts on this campus. And for over 30 years, we've been hosting things like the festival series with Charles Wadsworth, which now um, Aaron, I don't remember his last name. Ed Aaron. Ed Aaron? Ed Aaron. Ed Aaron. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, maybe I run the arts. Why the don't you do that, uh, Billy? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, um, anyhow, incredible programming over there with chamber music, um, we're the home of the Beaufort Orchestra. We have incredible children's theater. This year we're going to be doing Annie Jr. Um, and after that, The Little Mermaid. So those are great opportunities. We also have over 10 school shows where um, Jasper, Colleton, Hampton, and of course Buford Kennedy's um, are all invited to come and see shows like Angelina Ballerina, which is a very popular PBS show. Um, and we've started the Met Opera over here live in HD. The university has um, upgraded our sound, our projectors. Um, we have a wonderful screen and we're even serving popcorn, which is big, popcorn Billy. Popcorn at yes. the Met. Yes. Now, why yes. don't you tell me what Met means? Okay. The Metropolitan Opera live in HD. They'll be HD? Mm, high definition. Okay. Let's okay. make sure people understand. Okay. Thank you, Billy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and Billy, have you come to any of the live in HDs? Uh, I have not been to the to but, the live HD. But you have but been, I have to, been the to the Murphy. And last night, we it had was a treat. It was. We had the Phantom of the Opera, also in HD, but it was the 25th anniversary from Royal Albert Hall in London. And Billy, you were there along with probably about 75 other people, and it was great. It was actually quite great because Councilman Mike McPhee, who's our mutual friend, <coughs> decided he was going to turn it into his birthday party. So he set up and had refreshments and yeah. libations before the film. And at intermission, they cut a birthday cake. So we turned an evening at the Met, mm -hmm. live in HD, yeah. um, into a birthday party. And I won't tell you how old Councilman Fee, McPhee is. I think but, it's a secret. Uh, you know, really. I think this, this trans takes us to the question of partnerships. Correct. And how one of the ways to grow is through partnerships. Right. Maybe, maybe you'll talk about that. I will. I will. Um, we have several great partnerships. We work with Beaufort um, Library on their book Sandwiched In, which will be starting in January, where um, books are reviewed and local people do the review for them. It lasts about an hour at lunch. We also work with the Beaufort International Film Festival, um, which is in February. Incredible event um, with thousands of people coming to Beaufort. We, this year is Short Story America, which is a new festival that will be here in September. We work with um, Dragon Boat Beaufort, which was a, um, a breast cancer survival program. They now have two boats, but we showed there a documentary about Dragon Boats. And from there, I think it really helped them get their feet on the ground. Um, we're planning on working with uh, Port Royal Sound Foundation, showing some documentaries about issues with water and storm drainage and things that the city is also working with. So because of the mission at the University of Is Education, we are looking at using our film, pro, our film series to go along with things that are interesting to this community. 
You know, there are not, there are not many places where you can see a film. <clears throat> well, there are not many places where you can see most of the films. Not many places in the Low Country where you can see the kinds of, of art films, independent films, that often don't hit the big screens. And I think that's, to me, that is the single biggest addition or attraction this year for seven dollars, six dollars, five dollars, yeah. depending on what it is. Um, the ba Bonnie gives out bags of popcorn. They're a little too small for big people like me, but <laughs> it's an effort. It's the beginning. <clears throat> um, but this film series, I think, is is a huge opportunity to it is. To, to bring film experience opportunities to the people of Beaufort. And if it weren't for the university, mm -hmm. and if it weren't for the art focus, it would be a little more difficult to... Right. Now, this, okay. this doesn't come for free. Who's paying for it? Uh, um, there's not a dime from the state that's going into our programs. So it's our donors, um, our sponsors, uh, ticket sales. It's all what we call earned income to be able to do this. Um, and, and it's a challenge. You know, there's we do get some money from the Beaufort Fund, which is great. That helps underwrite us. We do receive, um, there's some very generous donors out there. But with the change in the economy, the, the amount that they are able to write their check has changed tremendously. So um, we struggle, but we have to be creative. And this film series is allowing downtime in the theater for us to be able to have something going on that's bringing in revenue. Because we still have the Beaufort Theater Company which last year um, had an incredible uh, cast that did Always Patsy Cline. And we just got through with auditions for Honky Talk Angels with three wonderful women who will be playing that. The Columbia City Ballet will be coming back. We're doing the Nutcracker. Um, we're looking at doing a um, tribute to Johnny Mercer. Um, Marlena Smalls and the USC Gospel Choir will be here in January. And then Noises Off, which is a British comedy, will be um, part of our series in April. So it's it keeps us really busy. It's a lot going on. <laughs> it <coughs> is. A for a small town and two for a university that is has really been put in through put through the ropes by um, state funding for, mm -hmm. for higher education. I don't know. A lot of people don't realize this, but less than five cents, um, or six cents, I believe, of every dollar that funds USCB um, less than six cents becomes, comes from the state. That's why some of us were involved in raising, um, in our first, in our, in our next segment, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about students and the art program, and um, you know, we had the goodwill of 50-ish people who came forward with partial scholarships for four years for students there. But if we want this university to be here and we want it to grow, we're all gonna have to chip in. The good news is that Bonnie gives you something for your money <clears throat> rather than the, just the good feeling. So I encourage people to, uh, to come, to, to participate, to bring ideas for productions. I oh, mean, absolutely. Um, and a lot of people have been telling us about films that they're interested in, um, bringing, and we look at that way. We look to partners, um, trying to work with other nonprofits to get people in the door. Um, but don't forget, we're also a big gallery space. Um, as you, thanks to the Chancellor, Chancellor's investment um, in this campus, we now have additional gallery space that we have wonderful shows in. So when you come in and you're part of these performances or productions, you're also surrounded by local artists. We've had State Arts Commission, we've had their exhibits. So we're not just producing and presenting art, we're also exhibiting it. So, and we're very lucky to have incredible students here and they have their shows inside the building. And um, John Goebel, who's going to be with you next, will actually talk about another gallery space that's being curated. Um, so we're doing so it all, Billy. USCB for the students, <clears throat> USCB for the community. Thank you, Bonnie, director of the Center for the Arts. Tell people how they can find you, how they can send you checks, how they can come to your performances, <laughs> how they can know what you're doing, oh, how they can see your great. program. We have um, our own website, which is uscbcenterforthearts.com. You're more than welcome to get on there and find out about all the things that we're doing. Um, if you write a check, um, please let us know. We'll come pick it up. Or you can mail it to 801 Carteret Street, Beaufort, South Carolina, 29902. Um, there's a lot of things coming on, but mainly come see us. Thank you, Bonnie. No, thank you, uh, Billy. We'll see you on campus. Yes. And I will, be, I will get to the Met. Thank you, next Billy. Next year, I you should. promise. And Festival Series tickets are on sale now, and the Met Opera goes on sale the end of this month. So, 
Thank you. We'll be back in a few minutes.